With loving greetings from all souls at this station, this is Matthew. Creator Source, Supreme Being of the Cosmos, endowed all souls with the free will gift of using its love light energy to see or create whatever they could imagine. The Supreme Being of this universe, called God or other names in reverence, used that gift in his domain to manifest joyous, healthy, prosperous, spiritually and consciously enlightened souls with remarkable innate powers. Some strong souls used their free will to put into dormancy ten of weaker souls twelve DNA strands and confined those benumbed souls in a matrix that excluded all the marvelous qualities and abilities God had bestowed upon them. Thus began the universal battle between the light forces and the dark forces and it has been raging ever since. Let us liken that matrix to tightly wound balls of yarn in Earth's energy field of potential, which reflects activity on the planet. Down through the ages those balls stayed rigidly in place as activity in the field showed how one civilization after another was dominated by a succession of powerful, greedy, ruthless individuals. About 90 years ago an influx of light loosened the balls and they started unraveling. They continued unraveling throughout the decades that followed and today the matrix is but countless threads flailing chaotically. That analogy, however paltry, represents the ending of the universal battle on Earth. The dark forces fight with divisiveness, deception, corruption, and fear. The light forces use only the power of love, and in the continuum, they already have won the battle. The souls you have helped awaken now know this, and it will well serve them and you when truths start tumbling out. We don't know exactly when that will be or the order in which truths will come forth but it is realistic to anticipate that before long you will be amidst a virtual cauldron of emotional disturbance the most dynamic stage of your earth journey is nigh. You have been told by messengers of the light that of the billions of souls who wanted to experience this unprecedented time on earth in this universe, you were chosen because you are the strongest. That is not flattery, that is fact. It is why many of you are in the trenches, so to say, with white hats, red hats, or patriot groups, or are journalists, scientists, whistleblowers, or undercover agents, and all of you are radiating and anchoring the light that is undergirding all rightful activities and actions. Beloved sisters and brothers, you've got this. Matthew often says be fearless as if fear always is negative. What about when it gives a person an adrenaline rush that saves his own life or someone else's? It isn't fear. It is fearlessness that motivates someone to dash headlong into danger to save a life. Fear paralyzes the mind. It is clear thinking and common sense that are your allies when swift action is needed, and we're not overlooking the value of knowing survival techniques. It isn't fear that motivates firefighters to run into a burning building and carry out individuals caught in the blaze and coast guardsmen don't act from fear when they dive into frigid waters to rescue drowning persons those responders act knowledgeably and appropriately as well as courageously. Fear isn't what spurs people to help strangers who are trapped in a crashed vehicle or who are struggling to rise after a fall, for instance. They see that help is needed and their response comes from the heart. Conscience, instinct, and intuition are ingredients of the soul and thereby are natural reactions. Fear is an acquired sensation, taught to children or they learn it by observation. Parents, by example, and guidance, please teach your children safety measures and precautions, not fearfulness. Not only is fear a greatly magnified emotion with vibrations in the lowest frequency range, it is contagious. When a person fears a current or imminent situation or even some what if, that strong energy flows to nearby individuals who then also have sensations of fright. And, fear is the dark one's source of fuel and perhaps their most effective tool. Their very survival requires a continual supply of low frequency energy, so they create situations that cause widespread fear in the populace, whose reactions supply that the low vibrations that sustain the producers of those situations. That vicious cycle involves the universal law of attraction. Energy streamers with fear attachments shoot into the collective consciousness, find situations with matching energy and bring those back to earth, thus perpetuating fear-filled circumstances. Dear ones, be fearless. Will the winner of the US presidential election make positive differences worldwide? It would not be accurate to attribute positive differences to the election winner or any other individual. 
the pathway to benevolent changes in your world has been paved by the Light Force's volunteers, other light workers such as the Hats, members of the extraterrestrial special forces, all persons living in godly ways, and light beaming far distant civilizations and the ever rising vibrations that are fortifying all efforts based in goodness. The public doesn't know about the light forces and it's doubtful that they are thinking about vibrations, however, those powerful sources have major roles in all elections and other national affairs and their aftermath. Whatever gains permanence anywhere in the world will be aligned with the light, and anything with base intention will be fleeting or never get off the ground. It's clear that my memory is slipping away, and dementia is a logical concern now. Please ask Matthew when we'll have technology that can restore lost memory. It would be jumping the gun to ease concerns about dementia, so let us address slipping memory. Mother, please look for the passage about this topic and copy it here. Saminton talked about memory loss during one of our long conversations in 2003 that became the Saminton chapter in Illuminations for a New Era. His highly evolved civilization is a soul collective in which unity consciousness is so satisfying, there is no mental or emotional individuation of the souls.